All right, then we should be live. Hello, everyone. This is going to be continuing from where I left off with Dragon Quest Monsters. Got an entirely new team ready. This will be really fun. Took a bunch of off stream grinding, but I managed to get a much stronger team. So, so now I, I hopefully won't be losing as badly as I did last time. Volume 7 saying volume sounds good now. Good, good. Just did, just did a bunch of uh, messing around with the volume before starting, so I'm glad that worked out. Let's see, what's... Uh... Alrighty then. Let's try this three-star gate for now. Happy to see you here, Huang7. Already did plenty of off-stream grinding, so I should be strong enough to be able to get through these dungeons pretty relatively a lot faster. Uh, Huang7 saying, what are your thoughts on Resident Evil 8 now that we are so close to the end? Oh yeah, I got, just, just earlier today, I, I watched my friend uh, Huang7's uh, Resident 8 Evil, Evil 8 stream. I think the, I think the game's pretty, pretty neat. Um, I, I guess, like, let me see, how do I put this? Um, I guess for someone like me that's completely ignorant to Resident Evil and wouldn't know what to, what to expect for it, from it, it, uh... I didn't feel like I was left out too much, I guess. Like, from, uh... How it started with a little happy family story. Of course, I feel like I'd probably get a, a bunch of things more if I actually, uh, played the games or understood the series better. But I didn't feel like I was completely out of the loop, I guess is what I'm saying. But anyway, now that you're here, you can give us some thoughts on our new, on our new, new re leveled up team. What do you think of this little, uh, slime, slime nut uh, in a hula skirt? Our uh, little fat blue frilled lizard dragon and our big ass blue bear. Seven saying fat Dilophosaurus. Oh, oh, yeah. That's pretty much what fru fru fry is. A uh, fat Dilophosaurus. Rish Ukrum one saying good morning sunshine. Good morning to you too. And as you can see, I have my mo monsters ordered from a uh, from a uh, smallest to fattest. Got the slime on the fu on one side. I did the fat dragon and the fatter bear on the right after. Falling seven saying and coconut Fred. Yep, we got coconut Fred here, all leveled up and ready to heal us all. Race Ukram one saying, "How are you?" I'm doing really good, thanks. Much better now that I much better in this game now that I have this strong team that I work towards getting. So now we should have a much easier time destroying all those that cross us. Saying hi, hi to Huang.
wonder if I can get. Let's see if I can. I wonder if I can get anything more. Ooh, I could get flame breath and chili breath. I think that's what I was going to try to save up for, for with my skill points anyway. I got my fruit fry a bunch of uh, breath attacks, so, so, so they should be able to do way stronger uh, spread damage now. Uh, Huang Seven saying, where are those little swarmers? You mean the leafy Alaricans? Uh, well, obviously they're evil tree leaves. <laughs> With, uh, one eye and little mouths and, uh, a little multi-hit. <laughs> Rish Yukram 1 saying, how are you, Huang? Huang 7 saying, good, about to graduate today. Rish Yukram 1 saying, congrats, I hope you have a 4.0 GPA. Yeah, I hope you, uh, may... I hope you made honors too, Huang. Wait, where was I going? Oh, right, down here. Uh, okay, I actually lost. <laughs> It's fine. No. Not like I can't deal with any of these battles. Actually, I might be able to scout one of those hammer hoods. Also, while I was playing this game, I actually learned a few things that that are a lot, a lot more that that'll be a lot more convenient to me. I learned that I can actually teleport out of the dungeon and, uh... In order to he heal back up, I don't have to stay in a dungeon and hope for a heal spot. I can just leave anytime I want and then re-enter. That, that would have been convenient to know if I were not terrible. <laughs> herb and let's go on. Rishu come one, so are you s saying so are you still in college? Uh yes. I'm 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 gonna get head back to college this fall. It's been crazy, you know, with the whole situation that's been going on these past several months. Haven't really had much to with uh, I, I really don't like uh, taking online classes. I prefer to be in a classroom taking notes. That's just how I how I do things. Online classes also move too fast for me anyway. Leave me alone, tree slimes. And all these tree slimes and hammer hoods here. See how much flame breath does. Okay, that did that certainly did a lot more than fire breath last time. Now I'm going to try to scout this hammer hood. Ooh, that was a good, that's a good percentage. Got him. Rishu Karam 1 saying, I honestly prefer online because there's no risk of embarrassing yourself. I guess I can see why that would be. Not, not really uh, into the whole uh, public speaking in front of a class or anything. I've been trying to get over my fear, uh, Rish Yukram 1 saying, I've been trying to get over my fear of embarrassment though, and trying to remember that no one cares, and that's a good thing. Yeah. I, I can't say I really remember or care anything any embarrassing that happened in middle school or high school. 
At least not, not, not immediately anyway. I'd have to like think real hard. Isn't it encouraging how how quickly we can just we can kill we can kill off these uh, regular monster encounters now? All that grinding for for this for this much stronger team was worth that effort. I'm probably gonna I'm mainly gonna be doing a lot of off-stream grinding be between streams because uh, this is that this is just that kind of game that expects you to take your time with it and. And, and work for your strength. Like, if I... Like, it'd probably be really boring if I spent so much of the... of the streams just... just grinding and trying to get fusion material. It'd be more... more entertaining to, like, uh... get in... get into the battles already and have everybody be there to watch, you know? Lots of desert cliffs in this in this dungeon. Like like in the original Game Boy game color game you wouldn't really get the idea that uh, anything you saw was you saw in the dungeon was really anything but uh, actually no I take that back like there was this one dungeon in the original Game Boy Color version that uh, actually felt like a castle dungeon I can't remember how far I was or which gate that was honestly I'll probably re I hope I hope it'll be more recognizable when I uh, get to that point Random crit. All right, nighttime, which means nighttime spawns, which means hel hello there. Who are you? Marrow escapee. <laughs> Oh my lord. Okay. No idea what they're going for that keeps missing. It doesn't seem like... Alright, let's try to now we can try to scout this last guy. Might have to use bait if I don't uh, scout him this next time. Ah, oh, he got angry, never mind. I'm probably gonna, I'm probably gonna need him because he's a zombie and like, zo and apparently if I, I've been looking into the fusion chart and like one monster I'm re I really want to get eventually is Dark Crab, and apparently that's the fusion for that is a zombie family monster plus some, um, Crabid. So, so I'm gonna want to get a. Let let me get this meat first. Okay, now. Stump jumps too, huh? Ok, 
kill off these stump chumps. Then I'll you then I'll use bait on that at Marrow Escapee. I wouldn't mind having a crab monster on my team eventually. Come on, come on. Be my friend. Man. Uh, Race you from one saying. I was sure you would take those stump jumps out. <laughs> Aren't you cute? Man, I'm gonna have a serious bone to pick with this uh, zombie. Guess I'll probably just have to come back for him later. Unless I get this one. We'll try one more time. On the plus side, I've done so much grinding that... That, uh... Pretty much, encounters like this don't... As you've seen, like, encounters like this no longer are, are much of a hindrance to, to me anymore. Oh look, we got him, good. Alrighty then, next floor. Oh, hello. Let's see if we can scout what it this guy. Fresh you come one saying good fun. Misty Wing. You come one saying, yo, this background music is fire. It is, isn't it? Looks like Monster Bait 8 st stacks every turn you use it, so I was able to increase that one by 30%. That's good to know. Man. Good thing I got plenty of Monster Bait and it doesn't seem to... Man, that did... Man, that did almost nothing. I'm not even sure if Misty Wing is worth it. I just want to get every monster I can while I can, you know? There we go. I'm sure this will be useful for something. Alright, now let's go find a healing spot. Then again, my... Let me see.
Ah, oh, there we go. You all worked out. Uh, Rishukram one saying, is Misty Wing strong? I doubt it, cause like for the most part, a lot of the monsters you uh fi you find in the normal encounters are are very weak and very common low ranks that you're mostly just going to be using for fusion. To, for like the, for things like the strong monsters I have on my team right now. And now that they're much stronger too, I can, should be able to like uh, beat the boss that that'll be on the next floor. I'm just gonna do a t just a tiny bit of extra grinding, maybe get one or two levels up, and then and then head and then head off to the next floor where the boss will be waiting for me. Rishu Crumb one saying, I didn't think so either since it was F rank. Yeah, low rank. That that's kind of what I like about games like this. Like you get a bit, you get, you get a general idea of how strong a monster is from from letter based ranks. That's what I like about games like Yokai Watch or, and this game, Digimon also does that kind of thing. But like uh, with ch with things like, like levels like. Uh, like in training, rookie, champion, ultimate, mega, all those levels. So for the most part, you you can you're you're more than likely going to have better options if something's an F, a lowly F rank. Rishu Crumb one saying, uh, do the ranks go F E D C B A S or is it different? Yes, it goes precisely like that, and I'm pretty sure there's a rank above S called for S X rank. I'm pretty sure. All right. Gonna make sure to save here. On to the boss. Curses, so it wasn't here either. to whoever you were. I've had quite a few guest visits today, haven't I? Who's that? Oh, it's him. This is the cave where courage is tested. That man just now, now was heroic, but I shall test whether you too have courage. Cross-Eye. Uh, Reshikram one saying true. I also think the memory in the Digimon is good as it prevents you from getting too strong early on. Oh, that that actually did more than I was expecting.
Yeah, like, pretty much limiting your team space with, Dig with Digimon keeps you from, like, uh, just filling your team with Megas as early as you possibly can. Getting it can't inflict, I can't really usually infect uh, bosses with status conditions, so I keep wasting my turn on that. Silly Brick is, is doing a lot of spread damage to me. Ah, oh, that's not good. There we go. Rishukram one saying, so which bosses in Cyber Sleuth did you struggle with the most? Um I honestly don't recall all um struggling with any bosses, like, unless I was playing hard mode, if I'm being honest. Hehe, <laughs> it seems like your courage is the real deal. Thank you for battling with me. Well, I decided I'd like to follow your lead. Cross-Eyed joined as your companion. You've shown you have courage indeed. I'm proud to follow your lead as well. Now let's head back. I wonder, I'm gonna see if I can make any, any good, uh, st stronger monsters that 
with him after now that I after this. Ah, Zion! So, you defeated the Cross-Eye. I suppose Cross-Eye just waited around like that all day long for travel to come. What a waste of time. If you were my son, I would disown him. That's a bit much. I suppose. Now, have you been breeding your monsters at the Starry Shrine? It is said that the one who masters monster breeding will master the Starry Night Tournament. The more you keep breeding them, the stronger your monsters will become. Now, I am very busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, 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 busy. May the spirit of the great tree continue to guide Zion safely on his journey. <laughs> Rish, you come one saying, the only one I found difficult was Neo Arata, but that might be just it's me because whenever I pick up an RPG, I'm the type of person that, gr that grinds a lot. I don't think I struggle with him much either. Like, a like I, I was. I made some really strong teams when I played Digimon, at least strong in-game teams. I would put acceleration boost on everything. Oh yeah, uh, no. another thing I learned that you can do conveniently in this game is you can just uh, press that button and you can teleport anywhere you want. So I can just head off to here, save, and then I can, uh, then I can take a look at what my fusion options are. What I can make out of this orc? Nah. There's gotta be some kind of high rank I can make. Or at least a monster I'm, I know I'll really like. Ooh, Dragon! I'd like to have another dragon. Hmm. That's pretty much all I have for options, huh? Ooh, Nardra. I think we can just. Rishukum one saying, I try to keep a good balance between all types and attributes. Yeah, that's a good idea. I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna repl try replace the bear with two more dragons. These, these ingredients are pretty easy for me to get anyway. Physical attacker, huh? Oh, and it gets psycho. That's perfect. Alright, let's make this Nardragon and add it to our team. Back row. Is 
save that uh, zombie for like uh, when I get the crab. I feel like this would be a good use of my good on my team. Let's see. Oh, and it's a C rank. That's perfect. Dragon Slime and Merman. Wouldn't mind making those later. Alright, now let's rearrange our teams. Farm Battle Feature. What's that? Choose a team of monsters from a farm and battle with them to test their strength. Determine which monsters are the strongest. Practice battling with them to learn the best tactics to use. You can choose farm battling by talking to the daughter Pluto. Interesting. See, so it's like the Pokemon anime where you can actually have your monsters battle each other. Battle each other as practice. Carry anything that's below level 10, 10 just so I can level them up for now. First, I'll have to go to the bank to keep get all my money saved.
save here and then huh. and then hit a oh whoop. good thing I saved my state that was an accident Now we can grind a bit in the ne in this next floor, and uh, and we should have a much easier time taking on the uh, on Saber Cat, unlike last time. Oh, you can even order them to psych up. Perfect. That'll really come in handy for the next boss. for the attack boost. like that. <laughs> Do a few battles, then, then get back, back out of the dungeon to heal my their HP and uh, MP back up, and then, and then go back in. Having four monsters uh, out in front is probably a real, a much better idea anyway. Four monsters means more, more turns and more options to get things off.
really like that. I really like having blue dragons on my team. I think they're cool. in. With all that attack power I'm packing now, I'm sure Great Saber Cat won't stand a chance. I think I said this before on stream, but there's just something about Dragon Quest music that makes you nostalgic even me nostalgic even though I haven't even though for the most part I haven't heard it before. I think it's the instrument choice. No, give me alone, tree slime. getting sandy now. Hmm. What's going on here? Try to scout this thing again. This time without save states. Even though that's probably a bad idea. I think it's actually pretty low because I still have it and have this guy and I haven't uh, used him as fusion material. Oh, lucky me. <laughs> White Knight. Wasn't aware that was a skill line. Pisham, Pisham.
Not sure what this mist is about. <laughs> Time for me to not have anything with Hit Squad on my team. Please don't run away. Yes, the defense buff debuff helped. Oh ho ho ho, yes. Look at all that EXP. Beautiful, isn't it? Just makes you want to cry. Let's see now. Up, uh, uh, I'll keep that. I'll keep saving that. Let's see now. One skill point short. I'm probably gonna keep leveling up until I get the until I get the uh, sk skill point I need to get that one skill I'm trying to get. Well, on the bright side, I know where I can find a metal slime. Lump wizard. I don't, think, don't have that yet. Might as well try to get it. I think this is needed for another special fusion, so I thought so, I, so it might not hurt to have on me. There we go. Hello, old friend from Dai's Adventures. Dai no Daipoken. Wizard. 
experience. I don't think Great Saber Cat has a has a prayer now. I hope that wasn't some super specific like, rare event that where I had to do something uh, important. <laughs> Hopefully it's just something normal to the dungeon. And even if it is, I'm pretty sure they make it, they'll make it so that it'll be more convenient to get later game. XP out of these uh, battles anyway, so might as well head off to the boss. Like after that metal, after that metal slime help, helped out so much, I don't, I'm not gonna gain much EXP from anything up here after all the levels I gain. badly last time. This time is different. I will have my revenge. Coming for you now. You you destroyed me last stream. I'm gonna break your teeth this time.
nothing this time. Last time I would have been overwhelmed by an attack like that. what I need to be going for. Sandstorm seems to be a, a debuff that'll help uh, help out with lowering their accuracy or something, I would imagine. How do you like that, Great Saber Cat? Meow, meow, meow. Oh, that's actually kind of cute. Meow. Her. The Great Saber Cat joined as a companion. Looks like the Great Saber Cat has taken a liking to you, Zion. Meow, let's go back. That went that went really well. I'm gonna try to clear the next uh, next uh, rank challenges and then and then uh, end it there so I can do some more off-stream grinding. Uh, in that case, you must be as quick as a hurricane. Ah, uh, sorry, I didn't read the king's voice or anything. That's a bit much. I, I suppose. Now, have you been breeding your monsters at the Starry Shrine? It is said one who masters monster breeding will master the Starry Night Tournament. The more you keep breeding them, the stronger your monsters will become. Now, I am very busy, so if you'll excuse me. Busy, 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 busy. Always busy, little king. May the spirit of Great Tree continue to guide the giant on safely on his journey. Yada, yada, yada. <coughs> Off to the bank. I'm pretty 
making sure this is where. Shrine. Nope. Um. Ah, Battle Hill. That's where I was wanted to go. I was not expecting to run into that metal slime, but it's really helped me out a lot, it seems. Right then. E class and D class. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming. The E class bouts are about to begin. A new challenger has entered the arena. His name is Zion. Let's all give him a warm welcome. Now get ready for the first match. Ooh, he has that Gila monster dragon. Or is that the yellow one? And wing slime, tree slime, crested viper, this should be easy. Let the battle begin. And I love that animation. I'm sorry, Killer Gila. <laughs> I'm sorry to do this to you. Oh, that's not good. It's not like it took any damage, so, I'm, so we're cool. Well, that was easy. Hell yeah. The first match goes to the challenger. Moving on then, the second match begins now. Green Dragon, Drax Slime, and uh, I can't. Ooh, I love that old dragon with the butterfly wings. That's pretty funny. I can't remember its name though. I remember seeing its. Uh, what's it called? You are Damselfly. Oh wait, Damselfly. Okay. I got my own dragons. Dazzle. My accuracy down. That's probably what it is. Yep, accuracy down. That is not good. That is not good. It's not like they're doing much damage anyway, so it's not like I have much to worry about. Oh god, that thing has deep breath. That is not good. Gonna do a lot of damage. <laughs> the one monster they didn't get the accuracy debuff on is hurting them a lot. Oh gosh. Hurting me a lot too. Man, I keep missing. I got four monsters here. One of those attacks is going to hit eventually. There we go. No 
match for my own dragons and their uh, slime hula dancer and uh, rhin rhinoceros with an axe. Third and final match. Greetings, Iron. You've done well so far. I am the Scout Tate. Do you think you can beat me? What kind of monsters you got? Warriors, I bet. Ooh, centipedes. I love those. Haha, <laughs> don't let it bother you when you lose. I think that's a shell slime or or sea slime, one of the two. Um, and uh, killer pee? No, centipede. Okay, shell slime and centipedes. No mercy. Throwing into the ground like a sort of like a centipede would. Lizard eating the centipede. That went well. We beat E class. Good. Big round of applause for Scout Zion. Hey, you did it! You've conquered the E class! The king has opened the calming gate and disorientation gate for you. Those gates with even stronger monsters await you, Zion. Alrighty, I think in that case, I think I'll just, uh. That seems like a good stopping point then. Because who knows how strong D class will be? Uh, Dino Friend YT saying, sus. I don't see. I don't see any imposters here, man. Go do your tests or whatever. Anyway, I'll uh, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna save there and uh, pick this up next time. Do some more off-stream grinding and uh, be be back another time. Thank you for those of you that tuned in. Hope you have a wonderful day.